It is based on technology uh, originally pioneered by Google called the physical web. So Google's concept of the physical web is that people should be able to directly access technology without an app and without having to search based upon where they're physically standing. That's the physical web. So you should be able to easily access uh, a parking meter based upon the fact that you're standing in front of a parking meter. And when you walk from there to the bus stop, you should be able to access a schedule as to where the bus is just because of where you're physically standing. And, and of interest, there's a uh, group of students at Belmont right now using some of our products to develop just that application so that you can be standing at a bus stop, see where the bus is real time right there at that, at that instant in time. This is direct access content based upon where you're physically standing. It makes use of a universal logo. So the logo is on the parking meter or a bus stop or a restaurant, or it works universally across all platforms. So if you're standing in a restaurant, you can access their menu. And when you walk someplace else, you access what content is relevant to you at that specific location. It's a universal technology. It has very broad reach. It's being integrated into a great many of the browsers on the market now. So it works currently with Google's Chrome. It's integrated into Google's nearby product. Other browsers such as Opera and Mozilla's Magnet uh, have embraced this particular technology. Beacon, we make our own browser called Phi.net. Uh, and Google is working toward making it compatible with their search display uh, Omnibox. Not guaranteed that it's gonna come out, uh, but they're actively testing and trialing and you see it on their development site there right now. Where Beacon plays in this space is that we support all elements of physical web technology and we've extended it in two critical areas. This is quite unique to us. Uh, we've extended the technology to apps so that the physical web can be serviced through browsers or through apps. So the benefit of that is if we have city services available in English all over the city, we could develop a very quick Spanish version of a browser that would allow Spanish speaking people to access all those same city services and surface it in their native language. Uh, and we can do that in a very short period of time. Uh, we did a uh, project with the uh, Nashville Sounds where we surfaced content there in the stadium and we had an app live uh, for them in two days and surfaced uh, 70 contextual elements uh, in the stadium uh, during the games. The other thing that we do is we allow you to manage what content or services are available in specific locations from the cloud. You manage it actively, dynamically, you can change it by the moment to moment, you can change it via API. So wherever somebody's standing, you can change uh, dynamically what content they see in that location. It is extraordinarily simple. All you do in this example here is if you wanted to surface content to tourists about the Ryman Auditorium, you would place a sign there, a sticker that says physical web contents here, you place the universal logo, you place one of our devices, you read the unique ID on the device, go to the platform, link that device to third party content or create content directly on our platform. In the instant you have saved, people standing in that location will be able to directly access that content. This is so simple that uh, a couple of weeks ago, uh, the University of Alabama installed this technology at their museums around campus so that people could contextually surface content at all the museums. Uh, and the interesting thing about that installation is that it was completely done by a sixth grade class. Uh, middle schoolers built all the content uh, and the deployment took about four hours uh, campus-wide uh, uh, across, across four museums. The technology applies to uh, all smart city uh, opportunities and applications. So our goal is to democratize access of every smart city application and to make it uh, completely available to uh, any citizen in, in any location, in citizen or tourist, because people don't always have uh, the exact app uh, on their phone for a particular service. So we want somebody, if they walk up to a parking meter and they don't have an app on the phone, to be able to surface it through a browser, log in, and pay for that parking. If they do have the app, then maybe they're a power user and they've logged in, uh, they can still surface content, but they surface different content because then they're a power user and they might have one touch pay, pay for parking. Same thing. Different versions for Spanish versus English or different versions for tourists versus local. 